According to recent leaks, Halo Infinite and God of War share one very important thing in common. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news information video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. So there's been recent leaks going around about Halo Infinite having one very important thing in common with God of War. The very thematic kind of cinematic style to these games. The discussion about these two games having something similar in common kind of got brought up by the RTX podcast bringing up how they might have some insider information information that they can't share right now but saying how Halo Infinite and God of War have some important similarities with each other which obviously it's good to compare those two because God of War 4 was a very well renowned game. Here's the clip that I was talking about. What I'm worried about Slow Space Engine and what we're hearing about Halo Infinite right now behind the scenes is, is fucking really 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 impressive really cool. and and you're gonna yeah. hear uh you're gonna hear some stuff about that in July for sure uh and there's also some other people uh, like Shinobi and others basically saying that they're hearing really, really good things about the event. From what we've heard, there's some really, really good things about the event. The only thing I'll say about God of War is it does, God of War, Halo Infinite is that it has something in common with God of War that we'll point out after it's actually revealed um, that we've learned about recently that's really cool. <laughs> um, and again, Halo Infinite apparently is, is a juggernaut and all that stuff you've seen has been in-engine, no bullshit, 60 FPS, and that's uh, not even with ray tracing or anything, so. I can't wait to see more on the game, considering we'll be playing it sooner than later. Yes, very interesting. We don't know exactly, but he was alluding to something rather important. Now, if we're trying to look at what we know right now of Halo Infinite and God of War, uh, actually there's some speculation on a forum talking about how it could be a single shot style cinematography when it comes to these games. As speculated on the forum, the top comment was, Long cut? I guarantee it. The entire Discover Hope trailer had a subtle transition right after the pilot wipes the window and going to chief first person mode and a very notable um, Xbox slash Microsoft insider Clobril responds back with a bingo so he might have some insider information on that so this guy has had a, a bit of a track record of being someone who kind of leaks information when it comes to anything Microsoft related so it does have somewhat of a credible source when it comes to that and we do see examples of that cinematography style single shot meaning there are no drastic cuts between different angles it's all one shot kind of style as we saw in God of War the very seamless transition between cutscenes and gameplay as you can see on the screen right now I show some examples and just one mission of God of War with Athena talk about you can see how they kind of pan around the character showing a bit of a cutscene kind of theatrical kind of scene and then cutting the, then just flows right into gameplay and then flows back into another cutscene seamlessly so they're saying that there might be something very similar with Halo Infinite as we saw that with the Discover Hope trailer and how that was just mainly all one take besides that one subtle fade in and out when it comes to bringing Master Chief onto the ship. Other than that, it's all one take in the Discover Hope trailer, which is the beginning of the game. And so there is that correlation between the two. Could be very possible. It'd be the first time we've seen this kind of cinematic style in Halo. And we do know that the Discover Hope trailer is actually the very beginning of Halo Infinite as well. So could Halo Infinite be taking a page out of the God of War playbook and doing a one take, one shot style cinematography with the game highly probable as that similar shooting style was used in the discover hope trailer as that that's the beginning of the game so it'd be pretty interesting to see if they continue on with that we saw something kind of similar when it comes to halo reach as it did focus a lot more on a first person angle when it comes to their cinematography shots and the cutscenes. though so this is something again very different where it's all one take the camera kind of pans around i really like it a lot because it just really helps give you a sense of detail you get to focus on things a little bit more than you normally with a bunch of cuts like we saw a lot in Halo 5. You can see just how in this picture of just when we're watching the Discover Hope trailer, we're able to really look at Master Chief, observe the armor, look at the textures of the characters, see the reactions, and not get so distracted by having to readjust our point of view and focus every time there's a new camera angle. Now I'm sure we'll get to know more details as the July Xbox 2020 event is coming right around, guys. They're focusing mainly on the first party titles, including Halo Infinite, which I'm pretty sure is going to be the 
the big showcase that's going to be for that event as well. So if you want to stay up to date with that information as soon as it goes live, guys, make sure you tap subscribe on the channel, guys. Keep yourself up to date there. I will be doing a watch party live stream event on this channel and on my Twitch channel. So you guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below to my Twitch. I greatly would appreciate it if you come by and hang out and follow there. We also do stream Halo 5 and MCC quite often, guys. So keep an eye out for that notification. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this cinematography style. Do you like the single shot style or do you like the more cuts in between to kind of keep the action up? It depends. It depends really exactly how the tone and scene kind of play out for each other exactly. And so I'd like to read what you guys have to say about that as well. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself updated to the channel, guys. You know, if you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.